By this point, you might already be tired of hearing about Minhee Jean and HYBE. But given what took place in South Korean music culture, financial critics shared their own thoughts on the matter. Let's just say, they didn't hold back. After Minhee Jin's conference went viral, the whole of South Korea pretty much declared that they're on her side. This sentiment can be seen everywhere on the internet. And if you can read Korean, you'll find that Korean netizens are having a blast with this controversy, taking jabs at HYBE at any chance they get. To be honest, it appears that this controversy came at a time when the whole Korean public was fed up with HYBE in every way imaginable. And we aren't just talking about fans, but also people from the K-pop industry. It's best seen by the fact that SM and YG employees showed their support for Minhee and expressed their understanding of her situation. If you're wondering why this happened, the answer is very simple. HYBE really tried to do too many things and take control over the music market, which eventually became oversaturated by their groups. This led to other companies changing their already established strategies, buying out small companies, branching out into various industries, and signing deals with controversial figures like Scooter Braun. Among international K-pop fans, Minhee Jean struggled to gain sympathy points, and many remained skeptical about her claims. It's very common to see this with international fans, as it's been a trend for years to be a fan of an entertainment agency more than the artists themselves. What's probably behind this is the clear bias among many K-pop stands as they already have preconceived ideas about Min Hee and think that Bang Si Hyuk can do no wrong. Well, how could he when he was the person who made BTS, right? Look at it this way. When Bang Si Hyuk created HYBE labels and decided to acquire many other small entertainment agencies, he managed to quickly diversify the company's portfolio and create a conglomerate out of his previously small agency. He acquired already established K-pop groups and now could control what they'll put out, when they'll put it out, and how they'll put it out. However, recent reports reveal that Min Hee Jin's label, Adore, was one of the very few labels under HYBE that generated a positive profit in 2023, while 11 other subsidiaries made zero profit or even lost money. This raises questions about HYBE's management strategies and the future of its multi-label system. No matter how you look at it, significant changes are set to take place at HYBE because their multi-label system simply failed. It's going to be interesting to watch how the company deals with it once the controversy is over.